Hey guys, I check everything here from GumballTech.com and JohnsIvan.com And today I have a very very nice sleeky theme preview for you guys And this theme is called VIP HD by the famous theme creator that goes by 57 He's a very very awesome theme creator guys, I'm sure you guys will love this theme So let's get started on the lock screen and the home screen first just before I get started, I'd like to thank the developer 57 for sending me out this theme for free to view for you guys. This theme is a very, very nice theme. Okay, now we can get started on the lock screen. This is the lock screen, guys. As you can see, you do need lock screen clock height to lock your clock, to hide your clock in the top bar here on your lock screen. Because there's a um, VIP clock that comes with the theme itself. And it's very, very nice. I love it. And uh, it's gorgeous. As you can see the clock comes in two different kind of colors there um, and at the bottom it tells you your date and the month and if you look at the middle of the lock screen you can set your own lock screen wallpaper there are the settings lock screen wallpaper and behind that wallpaper there's also another wallpaper for the for specifically for the VIP HD lock screen right there very very nice matches the whole theme there are also um different kinds of lock screen for this theme there will be um, all, all the slideshows to be somewhere here when I edit this video and you can see all the different kinds of lock screen there's uh, the zoo lock screen there's um, another VIP lock screen different kinds, there's like, up to 4 lock screens for this theme so yeah enjoy and if you look down at the bottom it comes with a very nice VIP slider there with a nice V to represent the whole theme so this lock screen guys very very nice i just love the photo widget awesomeness so anyway let's go ahead and slide into the passcode lock passcode lock as you can see it's very nice very black and sleek just like the home screen which i'll get to in a sec this is where you enter your passcode there's also a theme as well as well as when you press a digit it turns into a different kind of color like that digit it turns, it turns into blue right there very very nice there are no UI sounds to this but anyway this is the home screen as you can see it's very elegant classy simple I'm sure a lot of themers up there will love this theme anyway let's get started on the status bar first of the home screen it's very very nice I'm sorry if you can hear some some sounds when I adjust my cameras because my tripod is kind of fuzzed up right now so uh, so the status bar, as you can see, this it comes with built-in um, 3G bars and the Wi-Fi bars as well. So, uh, five bars for strongest connection for 3G and three bars for the strongest connection for your Wi-Fi connection. There's also a VIP carrier logo, but just that I'm not. I'm currently not AT&T, so I can't really set mine. And uh, you can set your own in iFile. I'm not really sure how to do that because I never did it and never tried. And uh, this is the time out there, not not themed, but you can see the status bar, the whole status bar is themed to divide the status bar from the home screen. Battery is themed as well. Very, very nice. And uh, look down on the on the icons, they are very elegant. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of running out of words here. It's just awesome. I love this theme. And... Uh, you can see the folder icons are very nice. Match the icons itself as well, and you can see the icons within the folder icon as well. The badges are really nice as well. And uh, you can see, if you notice, they're all black or gray, just like a VIP. And also, the home screen wallpaper is also set default in this theme. And you can enable it in Winterboard if you want the wallpapers. And uh, look down, there's a really nice face it widget here. It's under the theme it extras. Um, this theme is only available via theme it, so you gotta get this via the extras. It's a very, very nice looking widget. I just love this widget. Um, amazing widget. 
Let me go, wait for it to go back to start and I'll go over it. So this is the, gives you a very nice icon and degree, and the degree out there. Also a nice mini calendar there, and time, and also uh, the city you're in and what temperature you're in. So yeah, that's basically the widget. The page is also so themed very, very nicely right there, as you can see. And if you look down at the bottom, the dock is themed. You can't really see the dock, and that's why it's themed. And uh, comes with a lot of custom icons for you guys. This is the VIP icon set. There's also another icon set called the Actinium icon set. There'll be a screenshot over here somewhere when I edit this video. That's, that's another icon set for this theme because the developer actually started working on that theme at first but he decided to do a revamp of that theme and went on to VIP itself. So uh, you can enable that icon set via Winterboard as well. And that, that icon set's very nice as well but I prefer the VIP icon set in my preference. So that's basically the home screen, the lock screen guys. Let's get to the next part of this theme. Oops, I forgot to mention. While, the, while I was talking about the home screen, there is also a folder enhancer, as you can see. If you have the folder enhancer tweak, it's a tweak that allows you to extend the capabilities and functions of your folder, of your folders in iOS. There is also a folder um, enhancer theme, as you can see it's black, I'm not sure you're able to see it right there. It's kind of grayish, very nice. So now let's move on to the media section of this theme. So we're going to take a look at the iPod. That's a loading screen for this. Very, very nice loading screen. Took a look at the playlist first. You can see the status bar on the top is very nice. It's the very nice UI that's built into this theme. I love it. Look at the artist. Now playing is also themed as well. As you can see, it's kind of bluish. Kind of button there. Let's zoom it up a little bit. And, uh... Nice errors there. That's the UI again. Let's take a look at the media part. As you can see it's very, very nice. This is the iPod player. Take a look at the list. There's also a list icon there. This is not really themed. There's also a time slider that's themed as well. Very nice. As well as the repeat and the shuffle button. Take a look at the bottom. Very, very nice set of icons here for you guys. The play, the previous, the forward, and the, as well as the very nice looking airplay button. I love this airplay button. Gorgeous. Better than ev any other airplay button I've seen so far. Even better than the Apple one. So the volume slider is also themed as well. And also the UI here as well. As you can see, that's the blue line I was talking about a while ago. Very nice UI. Let's take a look at the video part and the more. Oh, nice UI right there. Now let's take a look at the video part. Let's go to YouTube for a sec. So you can see this is the um, passcode block, or the where you enter your did where you enter your digits, or the pop up also here. When you get pop ups, that's kind of, that's the kind of theme you're gonna get. Let me close that for a sec. If I can, that's also a loading screen right there. Very nice. And uh, let's take a look at one of my videos. Let me show you the. Whoops. It's also a very nice loading button. Love it. My latest video. The Smoky Ass 3 HD for the iPad theme review. So, anyway, this is the loading button again up there. And this is the media player for the video section. Very nice. The history and the mail button is not really themed. Again, there's the airplay button. As you can see, it turns blue for the time slider, but as you keep on buffering, it turns gray after a while. And that's the full screen button, theme as well. And that's the done button. Play, previous, and forward buttons, theme as well. Very nice. Okay, let's get out of this. And that's basically, th that's basically the media section of this theme. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next part of this theme. Now we'll be taking a look at sound at the messages app. It's a byte SMS loading screen right there. As you can see, it's very, very nice. Take a look at the top bar first. Please do not mind the names. Edit button, Steam as well. Settings and a compose button. Very nice bar for the UI. 
Messages, so. edit button on the top is theme as well, very nice. And the top bar as well. So you can tell when it's yours, when, the, when it's white, and when the, and the person is sending it, it means it's blue, so you can tell the difference, very nice. So you can see there's a little tiny icon there uh, on the bottom right and the bottom left of um, your texting bubble. It says V when it's you're the one that's sending it. I mean, to represent it is yours, your text. And uh, look at the bottom left of the blue pop ups, it's like a user kind of logo to represent that um, it's from the other person. And if, that's very nice. And if we look at the uh, back one of the SMS um, text, it's a nice wallpaper there, different from the iOS. It's like dots everywhere. It looks very nice and sleek. Look at the bottom, the camera button, and the send button screen as well. Enter a text. And it themed. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the... Back to the messages app. So I ran out of words there. And that's basically the messages app. Let's take a look at the next part of this team. Now we'll be taking a look at the default apps by Apple. Let's take a look at the calendar here. Very nice loading screen. iCal. If you have a Mac, you know what that is. It's sort of themed. Actually, it is themed. So you can see when you tap a date, it turns to a different kind of blue and it's black over there. Instead of the normal iOS, take a look at the top bar. Calendar is themed, the plus button is themed from the top bar, very, very nice UI. At the bottom, today, list, day, and month, and the bottom bar is also very nicely done. It's basically the calendars app. Let's take a look at the photos app for a sec. Oops. My god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Alright, there it is. No loading screen for this for some reason. Man, and the uh, top bar is thin as well. Very nice. At the bottom also, the icons turn blue when you when it's tapped. Let's take a look at the camera roll here. As you can see, very very nice camera roll. Airplay button on the top is themed. Camera roll button is themed as well, and the bottom icons are not themed. Sadly, let's take a look at the weather app. Weather app is themed. Nice loading screen again. And uh, all the countries here, very nice. That's kind of the Asian country right there, kind of European country right there. You can tell when it's night, when uh, the background is black. Morning over there, when it's a uh, light blue. You can tell the weather widgets. I mean the weather icon. Sorry. Or is that part of the theme? I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> I know this is theme from the UI, the bottom, VIP, info, and the page dots as well. Sorry, I kind of lost my mind there a sec if you notice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at the notes. Notes, loading screen, very nice. And uh, very look nice looking notes. I love it. You can see the borders are rounded off compared to the, never, compared to the normal iOS. If you look at the bottom, it says VIP. Never forget. Very nice. Let's take a look at one of the notes here. Yep. Very nice looking notes. I love it. Plus button, the notes, top bar. And this side is not the usual yellow, it's uh, blue and white. Go over there. Let's take a look at the icons. Love the icons, the mail, the trash, and the next note button, the previous note button is themed as well. Very nice looking. Now I'll be taking a look at the one more, which is the, um, let's see, uh, yeah, the phone. There is a loading screen for this, just that I, um, I already opened this phone a while ago, phone app, and I uh, look at the groups, the plus button, the top bar, everything, Steam, the icons as well. Very, very nice. Take a look at the keypad. Love this keypad. One of the best keypads I've seen so far. Where you enter your digit steam as well. Where you press a digit steam as well. Very nice. Look at the bottom, the add, the call, the lead buttons, all theme. Very, very nice. I love it. That's basically most of the apps I showed you by Apple. There, of course, there are more, but then most of them are not really that important. 
And uh, let's take a look at the next part of this team. Now we'll be taking a look at the UI part of this team. Let's take a look at Safari first. Nice loading screen. You can see the, the UI in the top is very similar to the other apps as well. And uh, look at the bottom, the icons, not the icons, but the bottom bar. Very nice looking. As well, yeah, as well as those icons as well. That's the UI buttons. And uh, that's the delete button up there for when you delete an app. And uh, look at that, that's the page dots UI. You've seen every page dots. And if you look at the background, it's sort of like the background of most UI of the app. And that's basically one section of the UI. Let's take a look at the App Store. Nice loading screen right there. As you can see, that's the loading button UI right there. Oh, you can see it right there. Yeah, that was the loading button. And also on the top, as you can see, there's a loading button on the top right there. Very nice. And uh, let's take a look at the featured part. That's the top bar again. Load another loading button. Very nice. That's the UI buttons again. Oops. And uh, that's basically all the UI. The bottom bar looks very similar to the rest as well. And uh, yeah. That is basically the UI of this theme. There Let's is take a look also at the an SB port. settings for this. Very, very nice, gorgeous SB settings. I love it. So you can see the 3G icons, airplane, quit apps, Wi Fi, SMS alerts are all very, very nicely themed. As well as when you uh, when you know the thing is activated, um, the for example, whatever thing is activated, um, it turns blue, and uh, when it's not, it's uh, gray. And if you look at the bottom, the more refreshed dock with spring power button looks very similar to the page dots. Yep. And there's also a divider to divide the info from the SP settings. If you look at the divider right there. Very, very nicely done. As well as the whole back on. Look at the top. Very nice cut out there. It's basically SP settings. Let's get to the next part of this theme. There is also a color keyboard to this. Right there. I'm sure you saw it a while ago in the SMS. Uh, messages part of this theme very very nice color keyboard guys when you tap an icon it, uh, you can see it floats and uh, it turns blue in the top there very nice just like the passcode wago blue and uh, if you press the caps lock button it turns white if you if it's on it turns blue double tap it turns even darker blue and uh, you look at the numbers part very nice just like the letters all the same practically ABC down the top left is themed as well. As well as the space bar, the night nice cut out there to divide the space. And the uh, search button is also themed. Well, sp that's specifically the spotlight, but there could be enter button there as well. But they're, they're all themed in this color keyboard set. The deep button is also themed as well. And that's basically a color keyboard. Let's take a look at the next part. So, guys, that's basically my full on overview of everything you need to know about VIP. I'll get to the price in a sec, but this, as you can see, this VIP theme is very, very gorgeous, sleeky. I'm sure all of you, uh, uh, white iPhone or black iPhone users, will love this theme. It's available in the SD version, the HD version, standard def definition or, or high definition, which is non retina or retina devices. So this theme is very, very. Anyway, so the price of this theme goes for around two ninety nine on the Themeit store. This is only available via the Themeit store, so. Yeah, you gotta get a Themeit account. And uh, as you can see, it says manage theme at the bottom. That means I did not pirate this theme. And uh, the creator of this theme sent me out this theme for free to review for you guys. So like I say thank you to him again, 57. Awesome theme creator. So there are seven theme extra packages. You gotta install all of it. They're very, very nice looking extras. So yeah, that's basically the price of this theme. So guys, this is my full review of VIP HD. Hope you enjoyed it. I covered everything I need to know about it, including the price now. And uh, go follow 57 on Twitter. Support his themes. Don't pirate it. Very awesome. You won't regret buying or paying that $3 just for this theme. Very awesome. He put a lot of effort into this theme. Just very, very nice. And um, yeah, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
for more uh, iPhone theme reviews like this, I do a lot of hardcore theme reviews. I go over every single detail about each and each individual theme. Uh, comment this video what you think about it. Give me suggestions, future improvements, of future theme reviews. Theme reviews, and I might consider them. Rate this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later.